the traffic off the exit, but the uh, love pit in front of us. Uh, <laughs> many questions with that vehicle. <laughs> Hopefully Ryan can explain to us what this guy's all about here. That's why I got it on, on tape. So.
uh, which means it's a little loose in the corner. Um, so hopefully that's a step in the right direction. All the things we did during the week helped us. Uh, Matt said what he's been feeling is gone. Um, so he was a little loose on entry while still on, on the gas. But we were running a stiffer right rear spring at the last couple races trying to help the car turn. Um, so we've gone to a little bit softer of a right rear spring. Uh, we're, cut, we're even across the back right now at 200. Uh, so that should help that. And we also put the wicker bell on. He says when he gets back to the gas, uh, he can just drive it right out of the corner. So that's a good sign. And uh, let's go check over with the 16 uh, NEMA midget right now with the crew chief and the driver and see what's going on over there. All right, Ben, how was the 16 NEMA midget? It was pretty good. Everything was going really good. We just, we are changing the tire pressures. We're saving three of the tires that we used, the right front, the right rear, and the left rear for the feature. And yep. we, so we swapped the tires, we changed the tire pressures up. It was only pushing a little bit. That seemed to be the only problem. Other than that, it's looking, looking good. Looking good, all right. So, the driver was happy with the car. Yeah. So I don't think you and I have dealt with two happy drivers coming on the cars in a long time. No, not really. <laughs> no, we haven't. All right, so things look like they're going good here. Knock on wood for us, Ben. Knock on wood is a bigger speech. But there we go. All right, so we'll check back uh, as we get ready to go on to the next practice and uh, cover more changes to the cars. Hopefully no more. consistent on time a couple other people have picked up a little bit uh, we, you know hopefully we need to we need to find a couple tents probably about two two and a half tents so uh, put the new rubber on we moved the pan hard bar up after the heat race uh, I'm gonna the motor was popping in the center of the corner uh, we think I think I found what the issue is uh, with the throttle linkage and the uh, barrel belt I'm gonna make another adjustment on that and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So, uh, if you can see behind me the track, uh, things are pretty wet out there. Uh, the weatherman said that this morning there was a 0% chance of rain. They changed their mind to about a 10% uh, chance right now, but uh, we're under a rain delay. So, uh, we made a lot of changes for the heat race. We're ready to go. Uh, got a couple tents to make up, but we haven't put new rubber on. Uh, so maybe some of these other guys' times are, are with the new rubber. Uh, Matt is running his old tires for the uh, practice, uh, for the heat race to qualify. Um, he felt he was really fast with his uh, newer tires when he broke them in earlier. So he's saving those for the feature. So hopefully this rain delay is over in a short period of time. We can get back at it. 
Both cars were ready to go to the heat race. The, uh, the NEMA cars were actually on deck when the rain hit. Um, if you look over there, the uh, NEMA team is uh, hard at work. Get things done in there. <laughs> uh, so, oh, we woke one of them up. So, we'll check back in a little while, and like I said, hopefully Mother Nature stops lying to us. so far uh, nice we didn't blow up the third time here and I didn't blow up so the other two were blow up so uh, that's, a, that's a positive uh, but no other than that the cars uh, it was a little free the first time the car has ever been free before but uh, we tightened it up and uh, we go up there with some stickers starting outside hole But then it, it, it got pretty good. Uh, ended up getting passed by the 39, but uh, ended up second. So it got a little loose near the end. Very happy. Uh, had some old tires on the right side, so we're gonna put the new tires uh, on the right side for the feature. And as Granddad used to say, go out and give them hell. Actually, that's 100% uh, uh, pure squirrel hide. <laughs> but, but, no, but no squirrels will kill them. No squirrel, video, right? are you kidding me? My driver would he, he take you out. <laughs> so, so, uh, good, we'll have fun. Good you. luck, Paul. Thank you. So, all right, so like I said, uh, Matt's getting ready to head out and finish second in this heat race. Um, probably not going to be a whole lot of videos afterwards. Maybe a quick wrap up. Uh, so Matt, uh, the, Matt put his new tires back on, three new tires for the feature, just barely scuffed. Um, 
played with Stagger a little bit, ready to go. Uh, we threw the farm at ours. Um, Matt finished second in the heat, but we still, we got the two tents we need, but everybody else grabbed a couple tents, so we need a couple more tents. Uh, we changed gears uh, to turn a little bit more RPM. We're, we're only turning 71, we can get up to 73. Uh, I changed the barrel valve, we changed the, uh, the idle, uh, we changed the main uh, fuel pressure. Uh, like I said, we changed gears and we're gonna change stagger. So we're throwing it all at it, uh, tr giving it a try last race here. But like I said, we're gonna be racing tight to the curfew tonight. We're second to last feature. Uh, probably gonna be going off probably right around 11 o'clock tonight. Hopefully sooner if these guys can get some green flag laps in. Uh, but like I said, we'll uh, get some footage of Matt's race and we'll get our footage and the, uh, uh, the end car. I forgot to turn it on in the heat. I'm sorry, everyone.
Hey guys, so here we are morning after the race. Um, I'm pretty sure they didn't give you an update last night. Uh, we had that lo car loaded and out of there as quick as we could. Uh, bottom line, by the time we got back to New Hampshire, uh, a few of us had been up for over 24 hours straight um, driving uh, with the drive down, drive back, getting ready. Um, well, a couple of people were able to take a nap, but definitely not, uh, not, uh, not a few of us. So we didn't finish the feature. Um, not sure how much we got in the clips. I'm pretty sure the whole uh, GoPro in car is there. Um, we we had a couple situations uh, that we thought uh, we could get through, uh, but we didn't. Um, car developed a bad vibration, and uh, uh, the driver pulled off. Uh, the torque tube was bound up again. Uh, we'll be covering that. I definitely can see why it was, and it was kind of a fear I had. I don't want to spoil that right now, but we'll get to that. Um, motor ran flat all night, breaking up into corners. Uh, we worked on it. We definitely cleaned, uh, worked on the nozzles and everything. I think our settings are off a little bit. We're going to kind of uh, make a decision here pretty quick um, as to do we take it to a dyno before we take the car apart or do we just try to get after it next year uh, and get the car to uh, to a dyno um, so all in all yesterday engine problems torque tube problem again um, we've got a left rear wheel bearing that may have been the vibration uh, there's a lot of play back there um, and a weld broke on the front panhard bar mount this is racing. Every racer is going to sit there and say, wow, that wasn't a bad day. You know, I've had worse. Um, but here it is, uh, the morning after. We didn't finish. Uh, but man, what a shout out to my brother, Matt. Career best finish. Uh, his thank you to Tim Bertrand. Uh, Matt hit the wall real hard. Uh, he got a ride in Amblin's last year at Waterford, completely destroying the family car that him and my dad built together. Um, Tim Bertrand stepped up with a uh, Dryden chassis. Uh, Matt has put that thing together for, from scratch, uh, making part after part on the bridge port that, uh, that our, our dad left him. Um, wow, what a day, what a day. Um, proud of him. That was our highlight from yesterday. Um, hopefully uh, we, can, we can cut out the emotional part. Um, but, uh, Stay, stay around. We're going to be at it all winter. A lot of big things happening. Uh, there's going to be huge news for the NEMA lights and uh, the light division coming. Some, some big races and, and sponsorship and, and, and some good stuff going on. Uh, sponsorship for those races. So, uh, morning after the New London Waterford Speed Bowl, I'm not closing out the video from New London. I'm closing it out from the shop here back up here in New Hampshire and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Listen, if you like our videos, make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe to the Home Check channel and you can find all the whole, uh, the videos with the NEMA Midget, NEMA Midgets under uh, Circle Track Adventures. So subscribe to Home Track, like the videos and please share them with your friends. Bye.